Welcome to Black History Monday, the show that takes you on a journey through Black history to expose our contributions, as well as many racial massacres hidden from history. So sit back, free your mind, and follow me on this journey. George Crumb. Now, this episode is a little different. Today, we briefly investigate the origins of the potato chip, and there are a lot of questions regarding the truth. One story states that a black man, George Crumb, invented the potato chip in 1853 while he was working as a chef. He was the son of an African American father and a Native American mother. One day, Cornelius Vanderbilt, who was the wealthiest man in America at the time, ordered a plate of french fried potatoes, but returned them to the kitchen claiming that he couldn't eat it. At the time, french fries were popular and Crumb was a chef at the Moon Lake Lodge Resort in Saratoga Springs, New York. Vanderbilt felt that they were too thick and soft. George Crumb then remade the dish using thinly sliced potatoes, then had them brought back to the table. It is said that Vanderbilt loved them, and this was the official birth of potato chips, which came to be known as Saratoga chips. Another story stated that Crumb's sister, Kate Wicks, was the cook at Moon's Lake House and that she first invented and fried the famous Saratoga chips. It is said that one day she inadvertently sliced off a small piece of potato that fell into a hot frying pan. She then let George taste it, and his approval led to the decision to serve the chips. A New York Herald report from the Lake House in July of 1849 introduced Rita to yet another possible inventor, Eliza the Cook whose potato frying reputation was one of the prominent matters of remark at Saratoga. Academics have spent years unwinding the facts from these fictions, even as the Potato Chip Snack Food Association placed a historical marker near the site of the lake house in 1976, honoring Crumb's culinary contribution. That historical marker was soon stolen. Crumb died in 1914. But in the 1980s, the folklorists William S. Fox and May G. Banner wrote a book about the origins of the potato chip. Moon's Lake House received credit for the potato chip in the mid-1800s. The first known mention of Crumb's involvement dated to 1885, and Vanderbilt was first introduced in an advertisement produced 120 years after the supposed invention. Crumb, born to parents Abraham Speck and Diana Tull on July 15, 1824, made potato chips gain its popularity, but not without the effort of these people. William Tappenden, manufactured and marketed the chips in Cleveland, Ohio in 1895, and in the 1920s, the salesman Herman Lay sold potato chips to the southern USA from the trunk of his car. Its popularity spurred even more in 1926 when Laura Scudder, who owned a potato chip factory in Monterey Park, California, invented a wax paper potato chip bag that could keep the chips fresh and crunchy. The black and white ad for the St. Regis Paper Company, which produced potato chip packaging, included a portrait of Crumb beneath the headline, This man cooked for Commodore Vanderbilt and Jay Gould, and created a billion-dollar business to boot. A 1977 cookbook by a Vanderbilt descendant made the Commodore more central, anointing the allegedly fussy customer as the founder of the potato chip. Unfortunately, the true origin of the crispy fried potato known to the world as potato chips will probably never be known. 
Next week, Monday, we will continue on this journey as we walk through the doors of history. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Find The Awakening Frequency on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Research is key. Always do your own research and never just listen to what people tell you. We are The Awakening Frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.